So I get the call from Darren and he's like, Jace, you gotta come up and help me because we're opening up the resort. So Dippery Barra Lodge, we're opening it up for the season. Well, I better get down to the Brisbane airport because I've got to head up north to Arnhem Land. Now, Simon can't come on this trip, worse luck. He's, uh, he's busy doing something else. So I've got another mate of mine, Paul, he's gonna come along. So every year what happens is at around December, Darren basically shuts the entire resort down over the uh, wet season, uh, December through to February, and packs everything up and then he heads back to town. Well, it's almost the start of the season this year, so it's um, time to head out to Dippery. We always head out a few weeks early, um, plenty of maintenance to do before the clients get in. Thanks, mate. Thanks for the lift. I gave me mate Jason a call to see if he'd like to come along and give us a hand this year. Um, I'm pretty sure he thought we were going fishing every day, but we've got other plans for him. And it ain't fishing. Hey, kids. <laughs> What's up? When I rock up to Darren's, the Good kids day. are there out the front yard and they're like, <laughs> Jace is here. Yes. Finally. Hey, mate. Hey, bloke. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? Good man, yourself? Yeah. Yeah, you're going all right. Oh. You're young, bud. Good, mate. Good, good. Yeah, there you go. You're getting stuff ready, eh? Yes, that time of year again. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Let's go. A bit more packing to do yet, mate. Yeah, oh, okay. A lot more packing. More packing? More packing, more wrapping. Oh, I've got me fishing rod right anyway. There's no mucking around. It's packing gear, because we got to go at about 3 o'clock the next morning. Barge is on its way around now. Yeah. All the fuel. Uh, stores, yeah. two 20 foot containers full of chocolate yeah. block, chocolate block. Wow. This is just Yeah, just the last staff, bit of the gear. Staff, yeah, staff and yeah, so. Sweet. Your kids been helping? Yeah, Trying to go. Been All good. right. Well, wow. looks like we got a long haul ahead of us, because we gotta get through the bottom road. Yeah, yeah, the top road's flooded, you won't get through there. No. Um central road's good. Yep. Is it gonna be wet? Maybe. Probably. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I dare say it will be, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be wet. Fair enough. It'll be wet. Yeah, we go. Let's do it, all right? All right. Get up. Get that one up. So, 3 o'clock in the morning, we're off. We've got to head out to a place called Ram and Guinea, and that's on the northeast peninsula of Arnhem Land, so right up the top end of Arnhem Land there. And then from there, we've got to get across what's called the Glide River and then out the front and into uh, the Dippery Lodge. Road oh, doesn't seem too bad, mate, eh? No, that needs a grade, bud. Yeah, it does. It's better. So it's a good 12 hours drive up the central Arnhem Land Road, hoping that the road isn't too badly damaged from the wet season. You gotta love this country here in Arnhem Land. It, it, it's, it's a big, wide open space and there's not a lot of population and Darren's Lodge is one of the most remote fishing lodges here up in Arnhem Land. Doesn't look overly wet this year, eh? No. Haven't had as much rain? No. Nope. Way below average. Still looks green, but eh? Oh, they keep moving, eh? Oh, let's roll. We've still got 15 hours on the GPS. Oh, oh, oh geez. <laughs> Wash out. Wash out. So in the wet season, this place can be an absolute awash with water, flooded creeks. <laughs> oh mate, it's cars and yeah. river. You can even see the evidence where someone has tried to, uh, attempted to get across the flooded river. Hey, me uh, to push the angle, get that down there. Yeah. Yeah. He's seen better days, that car. <laughs> so the vehicles ended up being washed downstream and jammed up in the trees. It's not going anywhere, that thing. So the road itself, to start with, isn't too bad. Uh, we have got a fair load in the trailer, as well as the back of the ute. Travelling on these sort of rough corrugated roads, you've got to constantly be tightening the load. And, and at one stage there, the whole load had shifted nearly off the pallet. And, you know, so there's a bit of mucking around. Crank that sucker. That'll hold everything to the pallet. We leave that box there so that the pallet doesn't want to slide, doesn't feel like sliding. Then run this sucker back over the top. 
I'll send her over. 